Hey, Mike here. So today we will be going over how I generate journal summaries at the end of each day. The setup is quite simple. I have the AI create a comprehensive analysis of the day, a breakdown of my accomplishments, as well as tasks that I haven't completed yet, insightful introspection, practical tips, and so much more. So let's get through this. So here we have an example note for the day, an example journal specifically. And as you can see, I have a lot of these to do's done, but of course there are some that are unchecked. So first things first, if you are using ChatGPT, in this case, GPT-4, for example, instead of using an LLM of custom, you will want to instead use, where is it, OpenAI Chat. However, I've been using and really testing out custom LLMs. And of course, you can check out my previous videos to learn a bit more about that. As always, this and all of my other prompts will be available in my GitHub repo in their raw format for you to easily clone or copy over. The link is in the description below. It's a simple yet high quality output prompt. As you can see, I start the prompt off with telling the AI what it should identify as, in this case, Gen Journal Summary. I then task it with reviewing a specific day's journal entry. I make sure that it gives me a comprehensive analysis of the day, including a breakdown of successful accomplishments and uncompleted tasks. The way that I let it know if a task is complete or not is with these double squiggly lines, which you will see in the example in just a moment. I also task it to offer insightful introspection, words of wisdom, so on and so forth. Most importantly, I task it to identify reasons for both successes and failures, suggesting strategies to improve daily task completion percentages. Last but not least, I remind it to highlight specific unchecked or unfinished tasks providing potential explanations for their incompleteness. And then again, this is just a reminder, so I'm not really counting this as a separate task, but I'm just reminding it to extract valuable insights from the journal responses, emphasizing any noteworthy points that can benefit the user's understanding. To run my local LLM, I will be using LM Studio here, and we will be using the Neural Beagle 14 7 billion parameter model. So make sure that is selected, make sure all of these options are on, put whatever port that is unused, in my case it's 1234, and start server. One thing I should mention is that for Neural Beagle 14, I found that the Zephyr preset is the best working preset, as well as for context length, when it comes specifically to generations such as the limited ones I'm doing within Obsidian, 4,000 tokens is more than enough for me in most cases. Sometimes I bump this up to 8,000, but you have to keep in mind that the more tokens that you have for your context length, the longer, at least personally, it has seemed for everything to not only load, but generate right off the bat. Everything else here seems pretty well set up. Again, I'm not going to go through these setups for every single video. I do have a main setup video that you can find in my previous releases. So yeah, let's uh, start generating. We're going to head on over to our daily note and go down here. Now let me show you the difference between a no prompt generation versus a prompted generation that is using the gen journal summary prompt as its like pre-prompt in a way. So of course, to just generate right off the bat, all we're going to do is open up our command palette and type in gen text. It's going to be this one. I have it hotkeyed, but just to show you, I'm going to do it from the command palette. And so in the top right hand corner, it says processing. And if we head on back to our LM Studio, you can see that it has received all of the content that's within the daily note see content here and then daily note and now it also has told us that it's generated the first token so far so let's go back to the application and here you go it is generating the day's chronicle so we can already start reading what it's generated so far on january 28th 2024 that's the correct date i focused on various tasks and reflections related to my personal and professional life here is a summary of the day the day's notes these are my daily journal entries when i record significant events thoughts insights yada yada shows me the day's notes the tasks when it comes to videos it's showing me that i have completed these when it comes to the asap to do's which is a section that i actually did label out there it's telling me that these are urgent or time sensitive tasks that require immediate attention so today i had the following asap to do's and you can see that they are unmarked they are not you know 
done. So that's what it's telling me right here, right off the bat. Moving forward, it is doing a setup. I completed several setup tasks related to Calendly. Those are all done. And if we continue down here, let's move our cursor down here so we can move. It says fix up and make. So these are another set of tasks as they are here that are not complete. Declutter laptop. This is basically done. I did uh, say that I completed this earlier, so that's why it's not giving me a to-do marker here. Then it's talking about all of the other tasks, GPT to-dos, and it is done. So it has completed all of them, and it says comment to-dos. These are tasks that involve adding comments or annotations to images or other visual content. They have several. Okay, adding relevant comments to the provided PNG images. Right, so this is, okay, so if we go back here, I have comment to-dos. I have images here that I should reply to. I will be doing that relatively soon. And so that's why it's also made this. So this is version one. Again, this is an unprompted. We did not use this gen journal summary prompt just so that everything is clear here. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to delete all of this. Let's delete this. And then we're going to regenerate everything. But this time we are going to use gen journal summary. And there we go. We have it right here. So let's click it. The context is of course everything that's within this note and all we have to do now is click submit so this time let's head back to the lm application this time as you can see if we go up here the content looks different this time because it's actually inserted the pre-prompt right here gen journal summary it's inserted the entire prompt before our actual daily journal so it's kind of all lumped together here. This is the way that the LLM receives the data. And as you can see, it's already started to generate the first token. So let's take a look. And here you go. We have the generation happening yet again, except of course this time it's generating from the Gen Journal Summary template. So this time it's going to list out everything in a way more formatted way that we have specifically requested it to do. Right off the bat, you can see that it has listed out successful accomplishments and it has labeled out everything that we have completed. And now it's labeling out all of the uncompleted tasks when it comes to things like the ASAP to do's, updating the System Sculpt website's session pages. These are things that I've not completed for this specific day. And what I can do from here is I can. Uh, actually, wait until all of this is done before I tell you what I will do with these results. Now, personally, I love watching, especially when it's a local LLM. I love watching it generate because it's just an amazing thought to me that this is all happening on my computer. This isn't some billion dollar computing machine owned by Google and I have API access to it, right? That's the case with um, with OpenAI, Microsoft, I suppose, in this case. No, this is all happening locally on my laptop, and I could have no internet. I can be in the middle of nowhere, and I have access to this second brain that is analyzing and formatting and doing all of this for me. That just blows my mind when I think about it, especially when I just watch it. I just kind of watch this generate in awe. And here you can see that it is labeling out all of the introspection and insight pieces. It's telling me how I've done. It's also giving me tips. For example, it says it would be beneficial to analyze why certain tasks are completed while others remain unchecked. This reflection can help the user identify patterns or areas where they may need to adjust their approach. So it's kind of setting up its own thought process to later on, as you can see down here, explain what I I can do in order to better accomplish my tasks. And now finally, all the way down here, it is creating a summary. So there you have it. It generated everything as I instructed it to do. Which generation do you prefer? Do you prefer this prompted generation or do you prefer the generation that it came up with without the pre-prompt? The reason I prefer doing this through the prompt is because I don't have redundant to-do list checkmark boxes. If you've been keeping up with these Obsidian videos of mine, you would know that I have what's called rollover to-dos. So any to-dos that are unchecked, they will roll over to the next day, which is, you know, the 29th. That's why I much more prefer generating this informational piece rather than just remaking the to-do list for me. But to be quite frank with you, I think both serve their own purposes. Either way, I am really interested in your opinion. Which generation do you think 
should be the winner. This one that you see right now done through the Gen Journal Summary template or the one that we saw in the beginning, which I just generated with Gen Text. Anyway, that is it for today's template. Thank you so much for watching. A special thank you to all of my patrons, and I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with the bell notification so that you can keep up with Obsidian, artificial intelligence, productivity, and performance.